Mom here with Math Dad, and we're back for challenge problem number 20. Indeed we are, but before I dive into the problem, I wanted to jump back to one of our old Math Dad vs. Science Mom videos and just demonstrate what it looked like to try these problems for yourself. So down in the description below, you see a link to free, a free printable version, your Patreon page. There's a link, try it out yourself. Because you don't need to print paper, you can just get online and try it out on Desmos. In the exact same way you see Science Mom trying. Yes. And that's through this link right here that I'll click on in just a moment. This teacher dashboard is more for teachers who want to create this activity for their students to try and then be able to see exactly what work the students have completed. If you click on that link, it will take you to a place with a code. You'll click join. And here it actually tells me to continue this activity because I already joined it. But you could join it. You don't have to sign up. You can make up a fake name if you even wanted to add a name. It's just a way for you to give these problems a try. It's free, and Desmos is awesome. You gotta check it out. Indeed. All right, so this is challenge problem number 20. Here we have a seven minute hourglass and a four minute hourglass, and your challenge is to time exactly nine minutes using those two hourglasses. So let me show, show you what I have set up here. Uh, this is mostly just for demonstration purpose. You can drag these to show how much time has, a, or how much water is in them. Water, or sand, sand. whatever. Whatever's in your hourglass. It's got to be sand. I can put water in mine. This one's blue. It has to be water. At any rate. <laughs> uh, and here, this is just a way of keeping track of how many minutes have elapsed. These are entirely just bookkeeping things so you can explain your thought process in a more visual way. Okay, I, I do have a question. Yes. Am, am I supposed to do this, like, in, in nine minutes? Or am I just supposed to show that I can exactly measure nine minutes? Yeah, so this is not just in some nine minute period, this is from the beginning. From the beginning, you get one nine minute period, and by the end of that nine minutes, we sh you should be able to tell me nine minutes have elapsed. Exactly. That, that sounds really hard. Indeed. I'm going to give you three minutes because it's such a hard problem. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. All right. And your time begins now. Okay. Um, if, if I don't get it in three minutes, I just want to keep working until I get it. So. Don't, well, that, that's a great show of confidence. Come on. <laughs> so my, my first thought is that I'm going to need to get to nine in some some increment with, with whole numbers. So like four plus five or seven plus two. Like, so, I mean, I have seven minutes here. And if I was able to actually get this one to just be two, that would be nice. But, but let me just kind of start playing around and see what happens. So if I flip them both over and they both start draining... After three minutes, this one is down. They're down like this, so that's one, two, three. One, two, three. Although but of course, I can't. I can't minutes. stop them there. And so, yeah, exactly. I can't stop them there. I need to let them go. One of them to drain all the way out. So at four minutes, this one's completely empty. And at that point, if I flipped that one book over, that would be ridiculous because then I could just this one over to measure eight minutes. So I can measure eight minutes really easily just by flipping this one, um, the short one, back and forth. But now that this one is at exactly three minutes, if I flip this one over and start it again, then three minutes passes. One, two, three, two, three. Now we're up to seven minutes. And here's where I think it starts to feel kind of impossible. I only have two minutes left. Seven plus one. If there was some way to show that like to measure just one, then I could just like add it again, and that would be my seven plus two that I need to get to nine, but all right, one minute left. If I flip this one back over and I let that one minute go out, <gasps> oh, 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 so the, the one minute went out, mm -hmm. and now as soon as that one is empty, now I have to flip this one back over, which is going to look kind of weird because there's only one okay, minute yep, over so it. Flip it. So when I flip it back over, it's going to look like that. Uh-huh. And then, boom! One minute left. Nicely done, science mom. Man! So, I feel like this was kind of like a happy accident, because I was about to say, like, <laughs> see, you've given me the impossible challenge, it can't be done. Like, that's where I was going, like, with my logical flow of thinking. And then I just happened to see that with that one minute left, and then this one being... Yeah, right there. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's like, well, I can just let this one run out. And I was like, oh, Flip them. Yeah, when you try to reason out and show why something's impossible, you often Sometimes you know, show exactly how it's possible. Awesome. So, 
How do you submit an answer with this? So this one, you would just have to type out an explanation of the process. Oh, okay. So this and was then... a nice visual way of keeping track, but this one would require a typed out explanation. Gotcha. And then you would submit it and your yep. teacher. Your teacher would have to create it. Cool. Sweet. <laughs>